What's up guys? It's me, Rebecca the Diva, coming at y'all with another video. I'm trying to, um, y'all gotta excuse me with this camera, because I'm holding the camera in my hand, I'm trying to walk into the kitchen. But, um, I'm trying to start like a little every other day daily vlog or something. Now that I do have my camera, it is a lot easier for me to, um, pick up this camera and record if I'm feeling up to it. Um... Today is Friday, September the 20th, I believe. Um, yeah, it's the end of the work week, yay! I've had a hell of a damn week, like, stressful, 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 stressful to the max week. Um, I, I like I said, I'm trying to start vlogging at least twice a week. I can't promise you guys every day. But at least twice a week, I'm going to try to get a vlog up. I wanted to pick up the camera today because I got a little bit of a rant. You know, um, Wednesday, I think it was the 18th, my, um, I have four children, by the way, for those of you who um, don't know me. I have four kids. Um, and by the way, if you're new, sorry I'm being rude. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca the Diva. Thank you for stopping by. Um, go ahead on and give this video a thumbs up as well as share this video. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the button that says all so you'll get notified every time that I upload. And for those of you who are not new, hey guys, what's up Diva gang? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, like I said, it's Friday. We made it. We made it. We made it to the end of the work week. Yay. Um, like I said before, I'm just doing a little update on my life vlog type of situation because I don't vlog at all, you know, but I'm going to try to at least start every two days, like twice a week to at least get a vlog out to you guys. Today is going to be more so of a rant. Um, like I said, I have four children, three girls, one boy. The older two, which are two girls, they live um, in the state of Georgia. And um, at home is my son, who's 14, and my baby girl, who's 11. So Wednesday afternoon-ish, it was after 12, 12 o'clock, I was on the phone with the oldest child, you know. She's going through one of her little dilemmas, and she's like my best friend, you know. We are always on the phone with each other. We're always talking, you know. She's the reason why I breathe, okay. So we're on the phone, chopping it up, talking about you know, life and going through shit and you, these YouTube streets and stuff. And another line rings in. So I'm like, oh, that looks like it's the school corner. Hold on. So I answer the phone. It's the school nurse. My daughter is 11. She's in middle school. The baby girl. So, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Is this Miss Watkins? I'm like, yes, okay. Um, this is the nurse from blank, blank middle school. And... Victoria took a bad fall and um, she bumped her head. She got a little scrape on her head. I cleaned it up, put a band-aid on it. You know, um, would you be able to come get her? And I was like, well, why? You know what I'm saying? If she's okay, then there's no need for me to get her. I said, put her on the phone. So I'm on the phone with the baby. And I was like, look, you know what? I don't drive. And for those of you who don't know, I'm originally from New York City. I don't have a car. I do not drive. I don't even know how to drive, okay? I totally depend on the bus system or uber or lyft i'm trying to learn how to drive you know but that's an, another situation for another video so anyways i was like you know my boyfriend's at work auntie's at work you know you need to stick it out a little bit and you'll be home in a couple of hours because wednesdays is normally the early release day for school so the kids instead of getting out at four o'clock they get out at three o'clock and it was about 12 30 ish at this time she was like, okay, mommy, sounded fine. No issues or problems whatsoever. Puts the nurse back on the phone. I was like, just sit her up there, watch her for 20, 30 minutes with a little ice pack to the bump on her head, and she will be fine. Meanwhile, for those of you who don't know, I'm a certified medical assistant. I've worked in doctor's offices and clinics 10 years plus, okay? So medicine, I know medicine like the back of my hand, okay? <sighs> The lady, the nurse was like, oh, okay, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later, the nurse calls me back again. And she's like, 
Oh. Um, she's not doing well at all. I tried to ask her what her name was. She told me what her first name was. She didn't know what her middle, her, her last name was. And she started reciting numbers. And, you know, then the principal snatched the phone from the nurse and was like, yeah, we're going to call the EMS. You need to get here as soon as you can because she's very disorientated. And that scared me once they said call EMS. Okay, I ain't never had to have any of my kids rushed off to a hospital from school through EMS. You know, that's serious to me. So I'm panicking, okay? So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get there as soon as I can. So, meanwhile, it's afternoon time. I ain't take no shower. I ain't washed my face, my ass, nothing. Okay, so I'm just jumping in some clothes real quick. Now, mind you, I am partially disabled, okay? Legally, they haven't declared me disabled, but I suffer from arthritis really bad. See this? This is a cane. I'm in the house and I'm walking with a cane because I walk with a really bad limp because I'm in pain with my hip. Really bad pain. So I do walk with a cane. So meanwhile, I'm trying to get dressed, trying to throw some deodorant on, put panties on, bra on, the whole nine yards. So my daughter was like, well, my mama called you an Uber. My daughter calls me an Uber. The Uber comes. I get there. And I'm thinking the kid, my kid is already in the ambulance, ready to go. They're just waiting for me. Hmm. No. So, they take me to this room, into the office, so they take me to the nurse's station. She's, my daughter's sitting there, crying, blood, blood red, sharp eyes, with a band-aid on her little head, sitting there with the EMS lady. The EMS lady introduces herself, said, well, she's fine, you know, I took her vitals, she's doing great, there's no problem, no issues, you know. I think for the most part, she just got scared and had a panic attack. Um, excuse me, my phone. So I'm like, okay. So she says, you know, if you want to take her to the ER, just in case, just to be on the safe side, you know, we can do that. Sure, fine, cool. As soon as I said, sure, fine, cool, then they was like, oh, well, we're going to call you another ambulance. Because we're getting ready to transport this boy who's more critical than her. Which, I'm not trying to be a racist or anything, but mind you, I live in a basically predominantly white neighborhood. And the school is predominantly white. So, the little blonde-haired, blue-eyed boy who was sitting up on the stretcher looking like he was good was going to the, to the hospital too. So I was like, you know what? No, I can go home and I will take my own child to the doctor when I have time. Thank you, but no thank you. I didn't like that because they called the e the EMS was first called to the school because my child fell and hit her head. Okay, but now all of a sudden since I'm there and I show my face, she's not a priority anymore. That's when you got me fucked up. I didn't like that whole situation because like I said, I feel that they scared my daughter. You know, it made the whole situation worse than what it needed to be. Okay, because like I said, if you would have just sat her there for about 30 minutes to an hour with an ice pack, she would have been okay to go back to her last class and then get on the school bus back home. You know, so it's crazy. That was just my little mini rant on how these schools like to blow things up out of proportion. You know, I guess this lady was thinking when I was on the phone telling her that I'm disabled, I can barely walk, I'm using a cane, and then they see me coming in there hobbling on my cane, can barely walk because I'm stiff, then I guess they felt like, oh, duh, she was telling the truth. You know, it's crazy, but I just had to get that little mini rant out. Um, today, like I said, everybody, my daughter, I kept her home yesterday just as a precaution so I can watch her. She's fine, you know. Still, head still hurts a little bit from the little bump, but she's okay. She was able to go back to school today, so it is um 9.36, so let's see how today goes. Let's hope she don't fall today. But I will, um, I'll be vlogging again some more today. I'm going to try to do like a weekend type routine on what I do with my kids and hubby and everything for the weekend since everybody's actually home. Um, but until then, bye guys.